Welcome to Comparative VPN YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how much does a VPN cost. When entering the world of cybersecurity, many people are introduced to VPNs and very quickly they find out that there are dozens of them with each VPN promising pretty much the same things. And since there are many benefits of a VPN service, many people are wondering how much does a VPN cost? Is it expensive? Do I have to spend a fortune to use a good VPN? Well, that depends on the virtual private network you go for. Before you watch this video, we recommend checking out our video on the VPN definition and use cases just to make sure that you fully understand all the benefits of this service. Even though VPNs promise similar things, not every VPN is going to stay true to its words, so we have those less reliable VPNs and those that are worth every dollar you spend on them. The first group of VPNs is comprised of free VPNs and we are not going to discuss them here. Yes, there are tons of free VPNs for all platforms, especially Android and iOS, but they are not recommended. Free VPNs are very limited in what they can offer, so oftentimes they come with slow speeds, not many VPN servers and locations to choose from, they don't work with Netflix, they have no servers for torrenting, and worst of all, they limit your bandwidth on a monthly basis and even collect and sell your personal information to third-party companies for revenue. So it's pretty clear that we don't recommend free VPNs if you want a quality product, but how much does a VPN cost if you want to get good value for your money? Well, to answer the question of how much is a VPN, we'll present two different VPNs that will explain to you how much does a VPN cost in general. Of course, prices of VPNs often vary and interestingly, more expensive VPNs are not always better, although they usually are, so you have to be very careful with your choices. Oh, and one more thing, VPNs are usually very cheap when you go for a long-term plan rather than going for a monthly plan which is the most expensive one and not very good value for the money. This is why we recommend going for the cheapest plan you can get and your price will never go above a couple of dollars a month. The first VPN we want to show you is ExpressVPN and this is not the cheapest VPN, especially when compared to our second choice, however, this is the best VPN on the market. ExpressVPN is known for its strong focus on security and privacy but also a huge server network of 3000 servers in 94 countries globally. This VPN also takes pride in having the fastest speeds on the market as well as servers capable of unblocking streaming platforms and downloading torrents with no noticeable performance losses. Being a premium VPN, ExpressVPN can be installed on every device you have and it supports up to 5 simultaneous connections on a single account so you can protect all your devices with no additional cost. Finally, it has 24-7 support, military-grade encryption and a verified no-logging policy, meaning that it's not only fast and reliable but also completely safe and secure. A VPN like this is more expensive but it has all the features you will ever need with no compromises. As we said, its monthly plan is very expensive, whereas its cheapest plan comes with a more reasonable price that represents a 49% discount from its initial monthly price with 3 months free on top of that. This is accompanied by a 30-day money-back guarantee, which lets you get a full refund in the first 30 days of your purchase for whatever reason, no questions asked. Now that you know how much is a VPN like ExpressVPN, you can get this deal by using the following link, comparative-vpn.fr slash evpn, or you can just click on the link in the description below to claim the cheapest deal on ExpressVPN. If you're still wondering how much does a VPN cost, here's another example, CyberGhost. CyberGhost is known as the most affordable premium VPN, along with Surfshark, offering its cheapest plan at a very cheap price. This VPN also focuses on security and privacy, but also has a no-logging policy, meaning that it stores no logs with your personal info and browsing history. Much like ExpressVPN, it's reasonably fast and has 7000 servers in 90 countries worldwide, including dedicated servers for streaming and torrenting. CyberGhost, however, works with fewer Netflix catalogs and when compared to ExpressVPN, it's a bit slower, so there are some trade-offs with CyberGhost. Needless to say, features like 24-7 support, military-grade encryption and 7 simultaneous connections are all here, plus CyberGhost supports all major platforms, so you can use it on any device you have. Now, how much is a VPN like this one? As you can see, it's much cheaper than ExpressVPN, but it is not the best around and has some flaws that ExpressVPN doesn't. For example, it doesn't work in China, it isn't as fast and isn't as great for unblocking Netflix catalogs. Even though its monthly plan is very expensive, its long-term plans are very affordable and you even get bonuses like 3 months free and a 45-day money-back guarantee, making it a great value for the money. If you want to go for a cheap VPN and make some compromises, know that you can get the cheapest CyberGhost deal accompanied by a 45-day money-back guarantee by using the following link, comparative-vpn.fr slash cg, or you can just click on the link in the description below to claim the cheapest deal on this VPN. So let's conclude our video on how much does a VPN cost. 
When you think about how much is a VPN, you need to take into account prices of many VPNs and today we show you the most popular ones. Judging by what we showed, VPNs usually cost more than $10 a month when going for a monthly plan or the price decreases significantly by opting for a long-term plan that will cost you just a few dollars a month. Of course, prices of VPNs can vary and some VPNs can become more expensive or cheaper due to certain promotions and deals that they offer. One thing is clear, however, and that is the fact that even premium VPNs such as these two are not very expensive and pretty much anyone with a computer and a smartphone can afford a service like this. So that was all for today's video, we hope you liked it and if you did, make sure you smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel and stay with us because many more videos like this are coming very soon. See you in the next video, bye!